Okay, so we are recording our Chaos, Diversity, and Inclusion Working Group meeting on May 27, 2019. We had canceled last week's meeting because of KubeCon. So this is now two weeks since our last meeting, and today we have Daniel and me on. <laughs> okay. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, probably so, from KubeCon, so maybe I can I can I can let you know how this went. So we had the the panel. We finally have a couple of extra people. So we have Jonas and Win, and we were and, and Don Foster at the end. So we were the five of us. Um, we had some some interesting panel. We have like uh, 25, 30 people attending uh, the discussion. Um, yeah, we were well. We had some introduction to chaos, what we were doing, uh, some historical details, and so on. Um, then we had some introduction to a specific uh, focus areas by Don. And then uh, Jonas and Green, they they were basically discussing their experiences in building uh, communities in uh, CNCF ecosystem. So this was more or less the uh, the panel. So we only had like thirty or forty minutes at all. So, but, but interesting discussion we had. I remember we had some uh, one of the questions we had after the meeting. Uh, coming from one of the attendees um, was that well he's in in certain country and then it happens that he had the question like how to uh, having a more inclusive event uh, despite of the potential situation of that country either because of uh, I don't know. You have some uncertainty about uh, about a country, which is probably perhaps your first time. Um, how you can help uh, newcomers to this country and so on. So it's it's more related about uh, this kind of things. And it was an interesting question to become more inclusive in that sense because. The point is that he received some rejections when they were inviting some speakers. Like, well, I don't feel comfortable for whatever reason. So how you can help others when you really want to create a inclusive community or or event, but perhaps your country is not that inclusive with from that sense of yeah, from that point of view. So it was an interesting question. And we had some ideas, but I don't know. Do you we... remember any of those ideas? Or are there any ideas that relate to chaos? And yeah, so we were we were discussing, uh, well, we were like three, four people. So Nicole was there as well. Um, so she, she can probably elaborate a bit more. But mainly the point was, uh, well, first, if you are having people that are new to your country, this is the first time, so probably one of the things you can help with is uh, have have a specific uh, um, how you say uh, translator that help, for instance, from uh, your uh, mother language to English or to Spanish or to German or whatever language that other people or speakers uh, have. In terms of security, perhaps we thought about having uh, the transfers. Uh, in somehow going to the airport, helping the people to move around, going in groups. So allowing people to, to go in groups, more than one people, perhaps medium-sized groups. So you are going all together with someone local. Um, more things, even perhaps if you have, if you are reluctant from, a, from certain policies that the country is developing, Perhaps another way is to specifically point to those policies and say, well, this is happening in this country, we know, but we really want to build an inclusive community. Um, we want to help you to become part of this. So, um, I don't know. 
what do you think your does it make sense i think those are those are good ideas um especially with security offering transport from airport for conference participants or event participants mm -hmm. something i would not have thought of so and i don't think we currently capture security like that in mm -hmm. any of our chaos metrics no i i cannot remember a single yep. bni metric that has that so I think it's it's an interesting discussion to have and probably to add in the event uh, diversity and inclusion. So yeah, no, I added a note in the minutes. That's good. And I think the providing someone for translating and language barrier. I think we already have that mm. to some extent, at least. Yeah. So that's good. Thank you for the update. Yeah. Um, yeah, this was more or less KubeCon. Who was all on the panel? So it was uh, Don Foster, Jonas Rosland, uh, Nicole, Nicole Huseman, me, Daniel Izquierdo. Um, oh, I don't remember the full name. Uh, let me. Let me look for for the whole is is green. She's she's working. Where where was she working? Uh, but let me look. Next, next second. Mm. Well, I can add this to. Yeah, I found this. Uh, oh, oh, she's working in GitHub. Yeah, uh, who is Ginever Sanger? Maybe you know her. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's great. I mean, I had the opportunity to talk to her for a while. Ginever yeah. Sanger. No, I don't think I have met her. Okay. It was cool. Five plus. Um, yeah, and then uh, there, there was there was another discussion when uh, Jonas and Tim they started to discuss about their uh, experience in first being part of uh, CNCF or yeah, CNCF ecosystem or Kubernetes ecosystem, and then how to help others and so on. And then again was specifically discussing about her experience, um, first steps, and then how she's helping others. Um, so, well, it was interesting. Okay. So more things. Looking at the one action item from last time, I have not done it. <laughs> Um, that was breaking out the common um, the contributor diversity metric because it was too complex. Um, I still need to do that. Another thing that we need to start focusing on is the release of metrics. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So one of the things I uh, I would like to have is to keep working on the on the several missing metrics and how we can keep improving the completeness of our cold question metric approach, which is probably time, working time from the people. Yeah. So my my sense right now is that we have very limited time. We have. Mm -hmm three weeks, four weeks until we need to freeze our metrics mm -hmm. 
Um, so I don't know how much we can do in three weeks in terms of new metrics, but I think we can clean up the ones that we already have. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's a better focus. Yeah. Yeah, another approach would be to talk to the people in the community that we are perhaps looking for help, um, that we are planning to have some workshop. I, I don't know if the word is workshop, but try to have some hackathon where we can advance with the metrics we have either because we want to polish them or because we want to uh, keep producing new ones. Something we can try to send to, to the mailing list. Perhaps there are people joining. Um, is that something we would organize in the like, next two weeks? Yeah, maybe. So we can try to have like uh, 4.30, six, well, well 4.30 here in Spain, so 7.30 Pacific time. So we can try to have some uh, next two Mondays, like 7.30, 9.30, 7.30, 9 for a couple of hours. Okay. I think that would make sense to take the regular meeting times, uh, extend them by one hour and make them work oriented. Yeah, so then we can advance in the metrics production. Okay. Um, I can send out an email to invite people. Okay. Oh, um, I'm reviewing last uh, last meeting notes. We had the inner source Spain. Uh, I remember about this. So we had some interesting discussions there about uh, DNI as well, and how this was driven by Sarah and Nicole. So both they had a talk, like sharing experiences in working in inclusive uh, communities. So it was. Well, part of chaos, they were introducing chaos to the people in the audience. It was good. Okay. <laughs> that was the inner source commons meeting, right? Well, it was inner source Spain. Inner uh, so Spain. inner source commons is kind of the international one. Inner source Spain is the one we are kind of running locally in Spain. Thanks for fixing. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna um, propose is that the next two weeks we'll just do Monday's um, work meetings. <laughs> let, as, as this is the two of us, perhaps let me double check uh, if I have anything else. But it seems I don't have. So we can go for the 3rd of June and we can go for the 10th or maybe we can go for the 3rd and for the 17th or I don't know. Well, let's, let's choose the, the next two weeks. It's okay for me. It's okay for you? Yep. Okay. So then perhaps one of the things we can do is to uh, prepare a bit the meeting in terms of, well, we have these missing metrics. I remember this uh, spreadsheet we have. Uh, so we can work, you, you can help here either policy in the existing ones. So those, for instance, in yellow, I don't, I don't exactly remember the, the colors we were using. And if they are in red, uh, this means that we need to, to create them. So we can perhaps work on them. And then we can leave people work on whatever they they would like. Hey Matt. 
Hey, Matt. Hi. How are you? I am doing great. <laughs> That's good. That sounds <laughs> very enthusiastic. Good uh, to hear. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, I'm guessing there's not a lot of people on this call. Now three. Three. <laughs> Maybe yeah, it's Memorial Day. percent It is Memorial Day. Oh, that's right. Oh, it's I forgot. Weird. Yeah, so in the U.S., this is kind of a shutdown day. Mm. And in the U.K., it's, it's bank holidays as well. Oh, so that's probably the, <laughs> probably the root of this. So um, I can, I guess I can kind of just say my two things. I don't know what you've talked about so far. We talked about pre, uh, recent events and right now we are planning our release strategy and decided to invite people for hackathons the next two Mondays and extend our regular meetings by one hour. Oh, okay. That's a great idea. Oh, so I guess one of my things was the release and just kind of where you guys are at with that or where the work group is, but it sounds like you've already talked about that. Um, but then my only other thing was you saw my email on Grace Hopper. Mm -hmm. Yep, so Sean is gonna go out with uh, Carter Landis, one of his students, and they're gonna do um, kind of a one day workshop around Augur. I mean, it's largely around chaos to get people to start thinking about open source. So I think there's a variety of different open source projects. I'm beginning to understand how this works. Mm -hmm. And the students who opt in to this day, the open source development day, um, they pick the project they participate in. So let's say if there's 100 people that are doing the day and there's six projects, you kind of get the idea. It would be 100 divided by six. And people just kind of end up where they where they end up. So that's what's going on there. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. I still owe you an answer from Grimoire Lab. I know. Oh yeah, it's probably it might be too late. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. So it, I mean, you can still ask, and if if there really is a possibility, like at Grimoire Lab, then I can try to. I'll talk to Zara, and mm -hmm. see what I can. You know what I mean? But they needed names by today. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so I will certainly do my best. You know what I mean? But <laughs> you know, let me know right away. And then I guess the other thing is, Georg, when is the deadline for Chaos Con again? It's Three. the next Friday. It's or this, this coming Friday. Friday. It's this coming okay. Friday. Um, do you... I have a suspicion we need to advertise it more. Yeah, I was thinking we might want to like start not spamming, but close to spamming the list. You know, like every other day or something. Like, don't forget. Yep, I'll send out an email after this meeting. Okay. Um, and then again, like Wednesday and then Friday. You know, like pretty regularly, I would think anyway. Yep. Um, and then, um, oh, thank you, I guess now to both of you. Petergia is sponsoring uh, ChaosCon at the silver level. Yay. Yeah, which is you're great. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you to both of you. I had talked with Alicia, who I don't know, but um, Anyway, thank you. That's great. And then um, I'm hoping to hear back from a couple other people who are at least expressed kind of um, positive, uh, positive intentions to provide support. <laughs> I'll put it that way. <laughs> oh, by the way, we were wondering if this should be done through Community Bridge in somehow. Yes. Okay. Please, please try to, that would be most efficient if you could do that. Maybe it makes sense, but okay. Yep. <clears throat> Sounds good. And I think Alicia's trying to figure it out. She had mentioned in an email that she sent me this morning that she's going to try to go through the community bridge. Oh, I, oh, I can help her tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And if you need to get touch with anybody at the LF regarding community bridge, just ping me and I can, but I, it should be pretty straightforward. Georg and Kevin both donated money. 
and I think it was pretty straightforward, wasn't it, uh, Kevin? Yeah. Or whoever you are. <laughs> you just you just put a credit card in and you're done. Okay. I just let Alicia know about this. Okay. Um, all right, cool. I think those are kind of my updates. Oh, and I guess maybe my last update is I, I'm going to plan on sending, you know, the Chaos Weekly newsletter. Yes. It'll. I'm going to end up doing it the twos, Tuesdays after our weekly meeting. I think that's, that's a good cadence. Just because I need that weekly meeting sometimes to get like updates, you know what I mean? Or yep. um, anyway, just I think that'll be the most convenient time to do it. Yep, and it doesn't make sense to then sit on the information until the following week to send it out. Yep, I'll just do it I'll pretty much right Tuesday afternoon, US. Perfect. Um, and then I know this is not exactly DNI stuff, so I'm kind of covering a few things here, but um, Daniel always, and Georg, I guess, at the point, um, from the Grimoire Lab side of things, I'm always looking for just small technical updates that occurred. Mm -hmm during the week, mm -hmm. you saw it's like a sentence or two. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was talking to uh, Valerio and Sandy the other day about having some of them in the, what we were discussing about having people uh, specifying like one, once, once a month at least the improvements in the more lab, but uh, yeah, if you can do it weekly, that would be great, even if it's just a sentence or two. Like, we improved the <laughs> whatever, mm -hmm. we improved the schema, we yeah. which is it doesn't have to be much at all. But because if we do it weekly, all I need is like a sentence or two, and it's during the Tuesday meeting that you want those two sentences. Yeah, that would be the most efficient way, I think, for me to do it. Yep. And I would do it myself. I just think on a, like I'll do it myself on the work, work group updates because I kind of, I can track those pretty easily. But I think sometimes the software is a little harder for me to track and I don't want to put something out there. Yeah, I'm but sure I mean, we can I, provide that. Okay, that would be great. Um, okay, cool. You're helpful. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that's it for me. And I give a big thumbs up to the hackathon. Let's see how, how productive we are. You'll be productive. I know it. I can feel 